Hey guys, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, start of your summer and uh, what a better way to spend it for me at least in rehab. Well, actually not really. This is uh, w w uh, Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation Center. Uh, just they have to keep the name rehabilitation because it's uh, funded by the Virginia Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services. Say that fast five times. So sorry about that shaky camera there. Uh, I'm here for a 10 day program where I am being assessed on uh, different vocations, welding, auto detailing, things like that. And uh, figured while I get the chance, because I have two other roommates, uh, that I'd go and get you a room tour while I'm here. Now, uh, this isn't going to be like pretty pretty, as you can tell I have two other roommates. I try to make my area as clean as possible for this, but uh, it's, it'll at least get the point across. Now, I'm not going to go outside just because there are a lot of people out there and I don't feel like, you know, just, I'm not going out there. But, you want to take a look at my badge, there it is. I look ugly. Anyways, I'm going to go and put this down. So, start off, it's kind of like a hotel, you got like, emergency information, things like that dead bolting door which I did dead bolt because I just took a shower and I just feel better had been dead bolted but when I take my shower for some reason here are the light switches you know one one obviously turns this light off uh, one light turns that light off so that's that got two storage rooms uh, this is originally, I think, supposed to have just two beds, but of course, they put three in, because what do you expect from a state-maintained facility? Up here, we've got my thing, which I put this cheap, I don't know what to call pillow up here. It's not really comfortable at all. And there's only one side of the door on this thing. So if I had to try to close it, one side would have to be open. So, I guess it broke off or something. Oh well, not that big of a deal. Two things to remember. Here's my stash of stuff, if you would call it. I get two of these. Here are my dirty clothes and then some hangers. That's the doorbell out there. Don't mind that. On clone and stuff like that. Here's my lockbox. I should go and show it to you. By the way, if you're wondering, this is the key to my room. We, yes, we actually get keys to our own rooms here. If there we go. And it is State of Virginia Do Not Duplicate. These are all best locks, by the way, in case you're wondering. So these keyholes are all really weird. For instance, to lock it, you have to you have to put the flat side up, stick it in. If you want to call it locked, it's locked. You, know, you can't get it very easily, but I don't. I, I just don't trust it. I have my own little lock box. And to actually unlock it, you have to stick the teeth up and wiggle it 30 times, and then it's unlocked. So I just keep mine unlocked anyways. Just because, like I said, I don't trust it to be locked anyways. Here are my snacks and stuff. to make my life here a little bit more enjoyable. It isn't too bad here, honestly. I mean, they're pretty leaning on what you do. There's stuff here. My clothes there. Like I said, it's not terrible here. Uh, it's literally, like, Unless you're in class, like in, in class, it's not that they're kind of strict where you go, things like that. But you know, it's it's not too bad. You gotta walk half a mile to get there. So this is my bed, bed through, bed two, yeah. It's I mean, it's, it's comfy. I don't put my sheets on it just because I'm I, I don't like sheets, especially when they don't like they keep kept coming up on that side. So I just decided to take them off all together. I sprayed it like with three coats of Lysol though, because I don't trust it. And yes, these are literally like hospital beds, but I mean, it's fine. You got a big mirror here. My hair is still wet, jeez. I look so old, I look an old person with a flash on right now. Um, this is all of bed threes, which is my roommate right there. This is his stuff, like I said. They didn't, I guess, have enough stuff. So this is kind of his drawer, if you will. His lockbox is over there. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's got drawers and stuff. Here's my clock, my wallet, my Kenneth Mountain Dew, my watch, and my sunglasses. 
aka Rebans. So, um, I have this, like I said, there's shoes and crap everywhere. Excuse that. A ch here's a chair without a uh, arm, if that tickles your fancy. They're in a cool tournament out there, I think. Um, here's the fan. I asked for it because my room, one of my roommates snores really bad. Here's the window. See, it's caged in. Just kidding. No, it's just a screen. Uh, trying to get a good view out here if you if we can. Yeah, there's the parking lot, and then there's the um, there's one of the classrooms over there for uh, the Department of Rehabilitative Services over there. They actually have their offices in here, and there's the rest of the campus up there. The windows can't open, so I'm not completely jailed in here, but they make a huge emphasis. They will kick you out of the program if you decide to climb out your window for any reason. Like, they were so strict on that. So I guess it's a problem here. Let me move his phone. Here's the air conditioner. It's just controlled by that darn set over there, which I'll show you something about in a minute. There's the hose clamp. There's a potentiometer grip. It's low, medium, high. Nothing, nothing fancy. Again, state maintained facility. Here are two lights, which they're really useless in my opinion, but hey, either way, it's, I mean, it's better than nothing if you don't want all these lights on. That switch, switch does that, and that switch does this one. So, that's that. Either a trash can, overly full trash can, because I always go to the snack bar and I fill the thing up. Oh yeah, here's the thermostat. It's one of those ones where they, like, they control it, and you'd think they'd lock it off, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. And then go put this back on. So that's it. Now, last but not least, there's nothing fancy about this room, so it's not a huge thing to go, part to go over about this place. But, um, of course there's a bathroom. Probably isn't the cleanest ever. Also, I just took a shower. So, by the way, this is one of those doors that I, I don't understand it. And I gotta use two hands for this. There. Oops. I don't understand it. I just really don't see why they needed it to open outwards as well. To close your fancy, it can do that. I don't like that though because when it actually closes, look at this big gap in the door. It's kind of hard to see there. You can see outside. So a conveniently placed toilet. It's not very comfortable, but I mean it's better than like a big bathroom full of stalls, I guess. So um, the toilet. See this weird, weird freaking countertop that's like completely deranged. Lift this toilet seat up, take a piss in the morning. A little bit of a problem there, isn't it? I don't think they thought that would part through very much. And to flush the toilet, you actually have to go all the way under here. Stick your hand here, and if it decides to flush, Amazing, isn't it? It actually clogs surprisingly easily, just saying. There are two silk bar holders. I don't know what on earth is wrong with this one. And then this one. And uh, sink, nothing special. Clog. Fold. Oh, and then there's me again. I look so tired right now. Um, two towel racks toilet paper holder and then a heater which actually is very comfortable it, it's on right now even though it's summer but it's it's really nice and then towel rack right here and then here's a shower i'm not going to worry about turning it on right now because it splatters all over it, everywhere and this thing's straight out of the 70s because this is when this facility was opened you can see the drain i mean this completely popped out when i was using it just taking a shower and then I thought I clogged the drain because nothing would drain down in there. I don't know if the MC's really dirty in there. And then I was like, why is this not draining? So I, then I was like, flip this and, it, uh, and then it started draining. So it's really weird. And then they got a floor mat in there. 
I mean, showers, it's, it, it's pretty comfortable in there. You can close this and it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's better than, you know, what you would generally think. Think of this place as a hotel room, a uh, smaller, like a really cheap, crappy motel room. This would be the equivalent of it. I mean, but it's not too bad. I have, I've been here since Monday. It's Saturday now and I have to be there to here till Wednesday. So it's very manageable, very manageable. So I figured I'd go ahead and just give you guys another pan uh, view of the room. Look at that brick wall down there. I didn't even notice that. This whole place is like brick out there, brick and drywall. And I like that slope, by the way, you can see. Got a slope. I'll go even turn out the light. It was very nice. I, I I just really I wish my room was like had a really high ceiling like this. You can see. Like they did a good job with that, but you know, it, it's a manageable room to deal with. Two other roommates are really cool, so you know I like them. But um, yeah, this is where I have been, and I will be for the next few days. I'm not, you know, but just saying I'm not committed here or anything. I can leave right now if I if. I, you know, it's not going to look good because this is kind of like where I might go to trade school. Because I'm not going to college, but I'm going to trade school. So if I wanted to get a uh, free trade education, like on forklift operating or something, they might welcome me back here. So if I wanted to leave, just tell them I want to leave. I'll call my parents tell them come get me two hours away. But, you know, it's not going to look really good. But, you know, so don't think, just because it says rehabilitation, it's not committed rehab. I guess if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And uh, I'm sorry for not posting in a while, but that's just that. So thank you guys for watching and that is it.